So there's a 15 inch behemoth monster of a touchscreen. And this thing is the biggest in its class, really. It's a 1920 by 1200 display with climate on the bottom. Everything looks really sharp. And even with the Tesla Model S Plaid Edition, they're gonna have a 1440p screen with a brand new computer and everything, which is awesome. But this one is more than enough. And maybe 120 hertz might be cool too. Dark mode everything in my book. You can go right into the dark mode and it looks super nice. Um, obviously you can't see it well in the sun when it's beating down. And they make their own silicon actually. I think they hire like TSMC in Taiwan and even today they're having troubles making chips these days. But I can safely kind of say like, when you do make your own silicon, you're ahead of the game by years, ahead of anyone else. And they've made the ceiling so high for the future that even right now, it's only using 25% to 50% of the computing power. And then when FSD fully comes in, they might use a bit more. But I think they really did an awesome job on this chip itself, and it's super future-proof. And even a 2017 car can be upgraded and put the computer in to get the new FSD computer. In the summer, they're going to be releasing a subscription model, or you can just buy the $10,000 FSD computer. In my opinion, if a car isn't able to update over the air, OTA, then you're buying a depreciating asset. No one should be buying a car that you can't update over time and add more features because every car is a computer at this point and you should be able to update it fully. You can really count on Elon Musk making your car's value more over time and Tesla is the best on depreciation because the amount of features they send every second and even just now there's a new update again uh, maybe every week or so there's always a new update that will add and change features or fix bugs and you know what I say an update a week keeps the raccoons at bay forgot about that joke <laughs> <laughs> you can also upgrade your computer if you have an older Tesla you can get the newest full self-driving but on top of that if your whole computer is a little slower or if you want to be upgraded to even be able to get the FSD in the future, whenever that comes out fully as an official release, right now it's in beta, you can pay a little bit of money to get that. Uh, if you did pay $10,000 on your 2017 Model 3, you can get the FSD computer for free. So they'll come in, they'll change it for you, and that's really unheard of. And I think in the future when they have the Model S Plaid with the new computer, 1440p, the whole thing, the whole nine, you'll be able to probably upgrade to that as well for a few thousand bucks. And people that didn't buy $10,000 FSD originally can upgrade for $3,000. So yeah, if you want a new computer, I mean, in your car and you just want to have it fresh and refreshed and, and super, super fast, then by all right, just go and update that. You can just go and pay that and have a brand new refreshed experience and along with Cyberpunk 2077 and Witcher on the big screen the next machine will play PS5 games with 10 teraflops and it also includes heated front seats and heated steering wheel obviously but this is coming soon you can actually buy the heat seats at an extra cost which is funny in the back for about 400 bucks all three trims Tesla makes are the same inside and out aside from the batteries and extra motors so you've got all the tech there you just have to buy it on the base trim, which is cool. Even the cameras are rated for FSD if you ever buy that or get the subscription when that comes out. And everything else in this car, yeah, it has the layout on the bottom here and you have vehicle options and you have quick controls, lights, locks, display, driving, autopilot, navigation, safety and security, service and software. And this is all nice to have. You can go and change anything you'd like and make sure everything is up to snuff. So everything you enjoy. And you also have your music selections here and you can play anything of one of your favorites. And you can go to radio, phone, streaming, Spotify, karaoke. So you can sing with friends. You can go to tune in, settings, or any music. You can also look at the dash cams right here. And over time they actually even still change where the placement is and stuff. So that's really nice as well. 
you have the wipers here put that on auto or anything you want you got your psi readout which i think you can only have while driving and your sensor last charge you can also call someone so that's actually like ahoy ahoy it's kind of like the old school um calling you also have your calendar camera energy charging web and entertainment and toy box even toy box you can go and mess around with boombox emissions tracks romance sketchpad mars santa and rainbow road and all these are super fun you can even you know use it to fart in every seat you like and the fireplace if you want some romantic times and rainbow road which is fun as well you can play any song outside of your boombox so literally anything play current media or you can select certain horns which is really funny and you can see what your energy level is and your consumption and you'll have your instant range and average range so everything kind of like makes sense here so it will kind of predict how far you can drive you should have your charging you can set your limit here so if you want to charge past that then you set limit and then you can change the daily and trip so daily right here is good for just driving normally but if you want to go on a long trip you charge a little bit more at 32 amps and generally you'll expect to only just charge five to ten bucks to charge so it's quite cheap and you can schedule a departure right to the supercharger and you can open your charge port right there or on the button itself on the supercharger plugin you can access the web you can search anything you'd like and this is all under the premium connectivity and obviously it's a good old speed test so let's see how fast the LTE is right now and I think this is running a chromium type of browser so technically you can actually play stadia on this if it survives for much longer so we're getting pretty average LTE speeds an okay ping and a decent download you know it's like probably like triple or quadruple what Mexico has so if your car has better internet than Mexico then what like Wi-Fi internet then that's really saying something and it's like matching right so it's kind of like tell us speeds where it's like 2020 or 100 100 or 1 gigabyte 1 gigabyte upload download upload so it's quite fast LT is pretty decent maybe 5g will come out soon and then you can get even faster speeds obviously entertainment and theater Netflix YouTube twitch and Tesla tutorials and you don't have any Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on this thing and there's really just no need I think Tesla will come to a point where it's just parody and you don't even need it at all and even at this point you don't need it everything's synced up your Bluetooth to your phone and text come in and you can reply right on the screen and you can ask it's not Siri but it's like a Tesla AI or whatever it is and you can respond or reply or anything this is a straight-up computer and at almost one teraflop so it's 0.6 teraflops plenty for a car of this stature and you can connect a bunch of phones and sync up your calling and have messages within you can read, reply, and call anyone you like. Your phone is the key to your car, and you have to walk up to it and walk away. It locks automatically. You'll need the app, though, which you can control anything in your car, which is so cool. And you can precondition your car before you get to a Tesla supercharger, or even if you want to heat up the windshield if the snow on the whole car, it will heat up in, like, mere minutes. It's super impressive. You can also have the heated front seats or rear seats or anything you're on before you even come into the car. So everything's just super ready. You can even schedule a time of departure. You'll get the heated seats ready. You'll get the heated steering wheel whenever they release an update for this and everything else. And they also have a valet key and you can kind of give them that. And I think you can actually program, I think the speed limit and stuff on that. And you can lock them out of the frunk or trunk or anything. You also have driver profiles and you can set anything you like every single option you click and the whole screen is always saved so yeah if you like your heated seat to two it will save it if you like to one it will save it if you don't like it at all it will save it but three 
I've had it saved on there and it's a nice and sunny day and I still like a little bit of heat. And the speaker system in this car is amazing. It's really quite impressive and I can even go load up YouTube and kind of test it out with some of my Tech After Dark. So let's load some Tech After Dark, maybe my recent episode, which will be like months behind. But So let's test out the speakers in this thing. And uh, you will need to move up to the long range to get a better bass booster in the back. And you might be able to get a few speakers. There are tweeters and stuff. And I think they work now in the 2021, but in the past they didn't. But I think the surround sound is amazing in this car. Um, but the standard range plus is where it's at. So let's test out the speakers in my newest video. They released the original PlayStation 3 way back in November 16th, 2006. The console took quite a few years to get out of their high price and their lack of polished third party titles, but in the end, they came back with a vengeance. The super slim. <clears throat> So in the arcade, you get Cuphead, Beat Buggy Racing 2, Chess, 2048, Asteroid, Centipede, Super Breakout, Lunar Lander, Missile Command, Millipede, Tempest, and Graviter. And a lot of these support controllers, steering wheel, touchscreen, which is really sweet. Some you need a controller. So as for, and even this is two players, you can have your passenger play as well. Backgammon, which is sweet. Stardew, Cat Quest, it's a new one. Solitaire, and the Battle of Polytopia, which is an Elon Musk favorite. He's really recommended this game. But with Cuphead, you need a controller. And you can have up to two players. I'm plugging into the Sentry Mode USB plug-in in the glove box. But you can go in and plug in a Type-C to USB-A adapter and have a second controller but for now let's just try out Cuphead so we're using the old classic Norman Reedus PS4 Pro DualShock 4 limited edition controller Um, yeah, the arcade is pretty vast. While you're charging, you can just chill in your car and play any games. Or if you're even supercharging, you can just watch some movies, watch some Netflix or YouTube or anything else, and watch your favorite Tech After Dark videos, obviously. You can also play any of the including games, like Clubhead or any of the play in the classic Atari games. They keep on adding games, which is nice to have. And yeah, you can plug in a couple of controllers and enjoy some of these games. Control the fans, you can split them with two fingers, coming in, you can kind of adjust and the two fans itself, the air kind of hits another airstream, so it splits up. It's really quite revolutionary. You can have the climate on, dog, or camp. So when you get an American Shepherd, you can click the dog and leave him in here and he'll have a grand old time. Or you can have the camping on and you'll be able to have a couple nights there or maybe a few. This is for the rear passenger seats and you have the top, mid, or bottom. Uh, you can also schedule this and you can have it on auto which is pretty decent. You just change the temp and then it'll adjust how the fan is if it gets too high. And these are dual. So if you, uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's recirculating air. So you can have that on or off. Yeah, you can have that synced. So it's just one. But yeah, you can have dual, which is really nice to have, honestly, when you have dual air conditioning. Or heating some people are just hotter than others and you have the defogger and rear defogger and the volume is right here and you know it works like pretty fast but on the steering wheel itself you can adjust the volume as well 
This is more for the passengers. And you've got the standard crazy map here, which is really fast. It's like a smartphone, as they say in every car review. But really, you can just kind of see like all the superchargers. It's kind of nuts. It's like there's so many, so many in California, all across the states, and all across Canada. You can go a full on trip down to Ontario, Montreal, and there's quite a few now in Vancouver as well. All around, you really get anywhere. And you can even adjust if you want satellite view, which is really cool. And this is all under premium connectivity as well, traffic and where the supercharger stations are. So if you want to supercharge right away, you can go to the nearest one and you click that just to center it. You can navigate right there and so you can see your favorites. If you're hungry, you're lucky. So I'm hungry right now, you know, take me to your leader home for dinner. So that's a good place. You can route right there, or if I'm feeling lucky, it might have a really sweet destination somewhere that might be really nice. So Kona City Park, take me there. Just like I'm feeling lucky. Kind of like good old Google back in the day. And you can lock in a locked doors right there where pretty uh, inconspicuous. You have the time, temp, your driver profile, if it's updating or not, sentry mode, LTE, and Bluetooth. And you can also open the trunk from here, charge, lock, obviously lock the doors and the front, which is really sick. And yeah, with the driving and such, acceleration standard and chill, steering modes, sport standard and comfort, and stopping mode, hold, roll, or creep. And yeah, I think the acceleration is pretty, quite vicious at standard. Sometimes if you want something a little more ice vehicle or a gasoline vehicle you can go to the chill which is more like it's just a smooth driving slower sedan but the steering modes are kind of where it's at sport is so nice to have because it's so tight to steer keep it tight and stopping modes i think hold is the best because then, then you won't wreck the reverse when you go into reverse it will hold longer so you don't ruin the motor over time and you can also have slip start so if your vehicle is stuck in snow it will be able to kind of get out of snow sand or mud it's kind of like an off-road mode so this is basically a jeep an autopilot steer and you have also the full self-driving visualization preview which is really sweet to have just to see what's on the display and you have your speed limit warnings your offsets your set speeds oh you have a medium uh, it's on your oh Okay. and lane departure avoidance this drifting on the lane you can kind of correct it you know it's nice to have when you're lazy or you're tired and you have blind spot collision warning chimes on an emergency braking obstacle aware up acceleration and emergency lane departure avoidance so these are all systems that are very impressive today and the future there's so many settings in these things you can just kind of like click around and avoid tolls and you can even use HOV lanes because once you get a sticker, you're able to actually use the HOV lanes. Not the order. It's coming. Is it? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Thank God. Uh, yeah, you could probably get that before they take that away from you. There are going to be so many Model 3s. There's so many. Now. That it's going to be like, ah, oh, we're stopping it now. I think it's normal enough. There's so many different settings. It's insane. It's like customizing a PC game or even going to your PC settings it's like so many settings you can also have a pin to drive so even a glove box pin so if you want to lock stuff in you'll need a pin to actually and you can even go into like wiper service mode and adjust headlights and towing and camera calibration There's so many controls even the mirrors you can control there with the buttons here steering wheel you can control with the buttons on here and even a window lock which is not even a button anymore on the doors there you have to go inside so if you don't want basset hounds to roll down your window you have to click this you can even fold them so you can have that even when you park it gets folded as well <laughs> exclude home you can actually have it so if you walk away at your home it doesn't lock if you trust it 
and all the lights are really sweet here. We've got steering wheel lights. Headlights after exit I actually like on. So when you get out of the vehicle, you can kind of see in the dark. You can go walk up to your house yeah. and stuff, which is cool. And also the glove box. So for the phone app here, you can turn on the fans here, pop the frunk, lock and lock the car, you can go into media and change everything from your favorites, play, pause, skip tracks, and volume. And the phone key is connected. Climate, you can change the climate from here. You can set it before it gets cold. You can warm it up before you get in the car. And you can vent it and turn on your heated seats. And if you bought the $400 rear seats, you could change them from there as well. You can vent, unlock, flash, honk, start, front trunk, valet mode, sentry mode, and speed limit mode. So if you let your friend try out the Tesla, you can limit his speed. For charging, it tells you you can open the charge port and it shows nearby chargers. And your location and for upgrades shows rear seats for 400 bucks and full self driving for ten thousand six hundred dollars which can navigate an autopilot auto lane change auto park summon traffic light and stop sign control and coming soon is the auto steer on city streets you can set up your service if you smash a windscreen or anything like that and you also have roadside assistance and it'll tell you that it's driving how fast you're going and how many kilometers and the referrals are on the top right. And you can control your whole car anywhere in the world. So I would recommend if you download that, you should probably not use the valet key, you should have the phone app and you can walk away and it will all lock with this phone. So it's very nice.